Haven't done one of these in a while. Uh, I think it's time for a vlog. Today, I'm gonna, one, be shooting on this Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K that I just got. Internally, no microphones, nothing. All of this is from the camera's audio, is the camera, I'm holding it handheld at the moment. So I wanna test it out, see how it does. They're trying to market it as like, you could also vlog with this thing because of where like the recording button is. It's like perfectly positioned where my thumb is right now um, as I'm holding the camera. So I'm not so sure this is gonna be the best vlogging camera, but let's see, let's see how it does. Today though, on this episode, what we're gonna do is I'm actually on my way to Los Angeles for an event that Razer is holding. <laughs> So I didn't plan my flight very well um, to go to the Razor event. It's leaving at noon, and I forgot that the Google event starts at 11. So in the event your bag has a battery attached, you will be required to remove it. Please relax. We're going to begin about 10 minutes here at gate number one, flight three to Los Angeles. Hello. Face down. Hi. What you did? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. in the world to uh, get some work done. I get why people move to LA. I'm like, every time I come here, I hate it less and less, not gonna lie. But I think that's it for this. I'm going to get as much work done as I can and then go to bed early. And uh, we have the Razor event tomorrow. Next day and we're at the event. All of us, in fact. Every one of us. Look at all of us. Dom, MJ, and of course Fisher. Nobody cares about this. announced a few things at this event, including a new mercury white color of the Razer Blade 15 with black USB ports instead of green and all the other specs remaining the same, basically. It'll be available closer to the holidays in limited quantities. And I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty cool. Then we have new Razer Blade 15 base model, they're calling it, which adds an ethernet port to the Razer Blade 15 and three millimeters of height to accommodate that port. It has a 60 Hertz screen instead of 144 Hertz, a different power adapter, 
one zone chroma RGB instead of individually colored keys, and it has an M.2 SSD slot and an HDD slot instead of the one SSD slot the regular blade has. And finally, it only comes with a GTX 1060 option, no 1070. But the best part though, is it starts at $15.99 with a 128 gig SSD and one terabyte hard drive inside, making it a lot more competitive and like a great starting point for the Blade 15 series. And finally, we have, of course, the new Razer Phone 2 which takes a similar form factor of the Razer Phone 1, but just improves upon everything. Brighter screen, louder speakers, IP67 rating, a Snapdragon 845 from Qualcomm, eight gigs of RAM, better Sony cameras, and my favorite thing, an all glass back for Qi charging that has a full chroma RGB light up logo. Look at it. So uh, we have the new Razer Blade base model, which I think is actually a pretty cool concept because um, you know it gets rid of the 144 hertz screen, which like creators don't necessarily care about. Maybe gamers do, but a lot of creators like myself don't. And then we have the ethernet port, which is cool. That only makes it three millimeters taller. So that's not a big sacrifice, honestly, if you want an ethernet port. But the real thing that I think is cool about it is the price drop. I mean, it only has a GTX 1060 Max-Q, but at that price for that power and to get essentially everything else that comes from a normal Razer Blade 15, it's not a bad option. And we have the new Razer Blade in Mercury White, which is cool. Um, it's nice to see them doing a different color than black, even though I do like the black, but I'm not gonna lie, the Mercury White does look pretty good. Uh, we don't know when that's gonna be released. They said before Christmas and time, limited edition. So who knows how many of those they'll actually be. And then of course, the story that all of you guys really care about right now, I got one. So, complete walkthrough, coming as soon as possible. Um, otherwise, uh, check out my Instagram or my Twitter or any of the other social networks. I'm at the Unlocker with an E missing in the word Unlocker, if you're not familiar. Um, I'll be trying to post some photos of the device, with the device, etc. so you guys can check it out there. Otherwise, also stay tuned for the complete walkthrough on this camera. Um, I'm going to be using this as footage for you guys to check out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below of the camera, of the new phone, of this vlog, everything. Love to hear from you guys, as always. Um, and if you like this video, please thumbs up it or share it. It's greatly appreciated. If you want more videos like this, check out the rest of the channel. If you like what you see there, hit subscribe. Hit the bell next to where subscribe so you get notified when I do new videos. As always, though, regardless, thanks for watching.